We're here at the Ghana Livestock Dissolve at the 30 for the Honey Fest 2024, where scores of students and the public are engaged in talks around the benefits of honey, the products they can incorporate in their everyday life, and the different types of honey. Nike News caught up with several entrepreneurs where they shared insights of their businesses, and this is what they had to say. Today, we are showcasing our 16 ounce honey that we have, as well as our 45 gram honey. We also have a line of juices that we do, which also include <laughs> honey in it. Instead of using sugar, we use honey and the natural sweetener from the juice itself. We have an office at Nompro. You can also reach out to me on WhatsApp or you can call 688-9836. Do soaps, lip balm and other products too, other than the honey. The honey that we are selling is natural honey. This is the mangrove honey, the white mangrove honey, if you look at the color. This one is mangrove, jamon, and a mixture of different flowers. This is why you get this color. The same way as this one. So we want people to know that the honey in the supermarket, they might sell it to the frog for the top here because it's pure honey. I'm a beekeeper, uh, so I specialize in bee products like wholesale, I wholesale suits, bee suits, smokers to other beekeepers across the country for wax foundation. And also we do honey, which is a byproduct of beekeeping. What we have here, what we brought out from the Rupununi is some honey. We got some pure Rupununi honey. We sell a variety of facial soap. We also make sugar scrubs, scented candles, and whipped body butter. And our products is that they're filled, filled with many benefits, such as the main one being treat and prevent acne. It all depends on the shades of the honey and where the bee pollinate and where the, the honey come from. And we sell honey and give people value for their money because health is important. Meanwhile, Wilton Ford is a livestock extension officer of the Ghana Livestock Development Authority and assistant lead of the Honeyfest Committee, highlighted that the inaugural Honeyfest 2024 stands as a celebration of inclusivity, bringing together beekeepers and apiculturists to exchange knowledge and insights of the field. We have persons having on display, tasting and so forth, the raw honey, people will be able to understand that uh, honey taste is based on the trees that they forage on. Honey Fest 2024 has been a success, featuring multiple giveaways and opportunities for learning. I am Carice Gonzalez reporting from the launch of the Ghana Livestock Development Authority. Yeah.